Again, welcome again to today's class. If you've met to my promise, I made that I'm going to release a powerful algebraic challenge this time around. Now, we have the question before us here. The question is x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 equal to bracket open x plus y r to the power of 2. So, when x and y are positive integers, so we have to look for the integer pairs of x and y that we satisfy this. Nice math or lipid challenge. Okay, so let me take you on a smooth ride on this. So we take our solution. Now, if you look at the left hand side of the equation we have here, we can identify a very nice algebraic identity. Remember the identity which says that if you have your a to the power of three, then plus your b to the power of three, this is equal to Bracket open your a, right? Okay, plus our b, then bracket your a to the power of two, then minus a b plus our b square. Remember this, okay? So if we have this in mind, what do we do here? We cannot rewrite this left hand side of the equation. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So this, in this format, is going to give us here, or this now implies our x bracket here plus our y plus bracket bracket our s to the power of 2 is 2, please, then minus our x, y, then plus our y to the power of 2. Everything will now be equal to our left-hand side, which is x plus y plus bracket r to the power of 2. Easy. So what do we do here now? Look at this. What we have here now, x plus y, we also have it on this side also. So let's move this left-hand side to the, uh, sorry, the right-hand side to the left-hand side. So if we do that, it's going to give us here bracket open x plus our y plus bracket, then bracket our x to the power of 2 minus x, y, then plus our y squared plus bracket minus bracket x, there plus our y r to the power of 2 equal to 0. Again, what we do so long we are having this and this, we can factor this out from the system. So, factoring this out will give us here bracket x plus our y close bracket into our square bracket. The bracket, we use this to divide this, we left with x to the power of 2 minus x y, then plus our y squared close bracket there. Minus, we use this to divide this, we're left with one of it. So we have here close bracket into our square bracket equal to zero. What does this tell us? We can apply the zero product rule whereby we say this is equal to zero and this is equal to zero. Now, if we have x plus y equal to zero for case one, we're not going to get any reasonable solution from there. Okay, so we ignore this first case here. We take the second case, which is the whole of this minus this equal to zero. And again, we can open up whatever we have here. So opening up this for case two, okay, so this is going to give us here our x squared minus xy plus y squared minus our x minus our y equal to zero. Okay, so we look carefully again. I want to do something here now. I want to factor out x from here. Okay? So if we factor out x from here, this is going to give us x to the power of 2, then minus bracket y. Here we turn to plus, then 1 plus bracket into x plus our y to the power of 2 minus y equal to 0. Now, this x here, I could as well put it here, but there's the reason why I decided to put this x here. Okay? So, what you see from this expression we have here now, this is a quadratic equation in x. So, if this is a quadratic equation in x, how do we navigate this? Let's continue on this side and see what to do here. Being that we are required to look for the positive integer of x and y, so the discriminant from this, our quadratic equation here, is going to be a positive. In other words, it must be um, uh, a perfect square. Okay? So, Let's get our discriminant. So we have our discriminant. We all know this is going to give us our b squared minus 4ac, right? 
So this is equal to what is our b? Our b will have your y plus one r to the power of two minus four. Our a is um one, which is times one, right? Is one please there times our c we have here y to the power of two minus y plus bracket. Okay, so if we open this, this is going to give us uh y there plus our two um y plus one there here this is going to give us a four y squared then this will give us plus our four y third are we in order yes so if we look at this carefully from here oh oh sorry yes yeah, square please okay so this this will give us minus our three y squared okay then uh, this this will give us plus six y and here we have plus one again this must be greater than or equal to zero so this must be greater than or equal to zero this must be greater than or equal to zero so it implies this must be greater than or equal to zero so we have this um inequality here now so how we solve this inequality is very easy so we're going to solve this based on its specials okay so if we are saying that our minus 3y squared plus 6y plus 1 must be greater than 0. So what are the values of our y that will satisfy these um, inequalities? So y is mathematically is going to give us um, 0, 1, 2. All right. So if we have our y to be 0, 1, and 2, then how do we now get the value of our x? Let's come to this equation here our quadratic equation but let's give this equation equation star okay so from equation star from equation star when we have our y to be zero what is the value of our x so automatically we're going to have here our x so uh let's put it here first y being equal to zero therefore we're going to have our x squared minus this will give us what uh, one so they are left with x there plus yeah it's going to give us a zero 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 so every tier we have zero minus zero which is equals to uh, zero okay so from here we have our x squared minus x equal to zero we got factor out x here so we have your x bracket x minus one equal to zero so we have our x is equal to zero there x is equal to 1. So we've gotten some values for our x now. So when y is equal to 0, we have x 0, then y, sorry, x 0 and x 1. Again, we cannot look for the value of x when y is equal to 1. So let's continue on this side of the board. Again, for our y equal to 1, we have our equation x, which is x squared minus bracket our y uh, plus 1 then close bracket x then plus our y squared minus y equal to 0. So we put in 1 here, we put in 1 here, we put in 1 here. So we're going to have x squared then minus 2x here. Everything here again we give us 0 because we're going to have 1 minus 1, right? So equal to zero so if we further add x here we're going to have bracket x minus two equal to zero so we're going to have our x equal to zero our x is equal to two so we've gotten another pairs of our x okay so we look for our y two so for this we're going to have your x squared minus bracket so let's just put in the value straight so we have this plus one plus bracket into our x plus here we have two to the power of uh, two minus two equal to zero. So we have x squared minus three x. Then here we're going to give us a four. Four minus this will give us plus two, right? We have plus two equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this quadratically? It's very easy. 
we look for two numbers that when we add together, will give us minus three and multiply to give us plus two. That will give us um, minus one and minus two. Okay, so we can rewrite this to give us here x squared minus x minus two x plus two equal to zero. So we can bracket this, bracket this, bracket this, bracket this. Let's come here, we have x here, so we have x minus one, close bracket, two is common here, bracket here, we have um, x then minus one equal to zero. So we have x from here, uh, just take one of these, then this other side, x minus two, which now implies that our x uh, is equal to positive one, comma, x is equal to positive two. So we've gotten another two sets of values. So let's go ahead and bring out all the values of x and y, the pairs of x and y that are integers, positive integers that will satisfy this equation here. Okay, so let's fill up just this surface. So the pairs of x, y that will satisfy this will now give us s, comma, or uh, y will now be equal to, so when x is um, zero, then what is our y? We have zero, so we have here zero, comma, zero. Again, when we have our y to be zero, we still have x to be one. So this will now give us here one, then zero, okay? Then when we have our y to be uh, one, which is for this, we have our s to be zero and two. So this will now give us here um, zero, okay? For the first value of x and y we have one, then when we have our y to be 1, again, we still have x to be 2. So this is going to give us um, uh, 2, the 1. Okay? I hope there's no confusion. All right. So when we have our y to be 2, let's look for the value of x. So the first one, we have 1. So we're going to have this to be 1, comma, 2. Then when we have it to be um, 2 again, we also have 2. So this will have here yeah, 2, comma, 2. Okay, so these are the pairs of positive integer of our x and y that will satisfy this matulated algebra. So if you lost something from this video tutorial, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a question with regards to the approach I applied here, drop it in the comment section. You have a better way of solving this math Olympiad challenge. Conserving time, then drop it in the comment section so that online mass TV can learn from you. But we are here to get tips from the best brains all over the world. Thanks for being there. Again, if you've not subscribed, do us that favor. And also do yourself that favor too by subscribing. We love you. Bye. We meet you again.